Hi, we're Joel and Leah. And today we're going to talk about why Americans love Brits. So we've made a video ages ago about the, the reasons Brits love America. And we even did an interview on the we, Preston and Steve show all have, about the reasons yeah. we love Americans. They brought us on the radio. Yeah. And we were on the biggest radio show. Radio show. Radio show. Radio show. Radio show, <laughs> radio show in Philadelphia. Yeah. The Preston and Steve show. It was we amazing. We spoke all about our YouTube videos, specifically mm -hmm. that video. Yeah. And we just had a whale of a time. We did. And we, most of our subscribers are American. Hey guys, Hiya. if you're watching. Um, all Americans out there. Uh, and you guys over the years have told us the reasons why lots of you like Brits, the qualities you like about us, and and the qualities you hate about us, to be frank. And uh, <laughs> we are going to do a video about the things you guys hate about Brits as well. Um, but yeah, this one is all about the things that you love about us. Okay, this one I absolutely love. Um, so an American person tweeted, I love it when Brit, oh, shall I say it in American? I love it when British people say stuff like, fancy a pint mate, and that bloke is well mental, and, but then they get carried away and say something like, me and Kevin was having a cheeky snog on in the Nan's bog. <laughs> and, um, basically they're just saying they just love a bit of British slang. The British, British slang. British slang. I guess it is like a different slang. language, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. Um, I was saying bits and bobs the other day yeah. in a video and people were like, bits and bobs, bits and so bobs. cute. I know, what did I say? <laughs> I think I said it? something like higgledy piggledy in yeah. front of Vero, who is my friend who's from Texas. She was like, what? What, what is higgledy piggledy? I was like, <laughs> You've never heard of Higgledy Higgledy. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me you've never heard of Higgledy Higgledy. You tell me you've never heard of I like that. I like yeah. we've got our own little language, I guess. Um, and because Americans aren't exposed to it very often in the media, yeah. maybe that's why it's interesting. Whereas for us, we get American media all the time, so we're just used to American we hear dialects. It, but maybe unless you watch a bit of YouTube or, I don't know, watch a few British TV shows, you might mm. not hear stuff like, do you know what I mean? Do you, do you know, know what, what I mean? like spelled yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, do you know what I mean? True. Do you know what I mean? Um, just certain words and phrases mm -hmm. that Americans absolutely love. Yeah. I'm trying to think of ones where we say quite a lot, that we say quite People a lot. like cheeky, when we say like, Ooh, oh, you're a bit cheeky, cheeky. or cheeky Nando's, or yeah. cheeky monkey, like. <laughs> Cheeky monkey. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's one. What other ones? Um, oh, when, whenever a British person says y'all. Y'all. Yeah, they'd that's love hilarious. that. Well, I feel like Texans only like that. Whereas oh. there's some other Americans that are like, stop saying y'all. It's very tacky and classless. And oh, like, get over please. it. Please. Um, right then. When British people say, right then. Right then. Right then. Right. I just think that's, that's yeah. a good one. So linking on from. The thing about Cockney rhyming, Cockney slang, rhyming slang is our accent. It's an obvious one. Brits bang on about it all the time, but it really works. When we were in LA, we got into a pool party for free just because we have British fish. accents. It's amazing. Absolutely. Incredible. All these Americans were queuing up. They had their tickets. They heard our accents. And they were like, come in. And we were like, we don't have a ticket. We're just right. looking. And they were like, no, no, no. Just come straight in. And we were like, amazing. Okay. It must have been the accents. It must have been. What else it wasn't this. No. Um, Remember when we were in New York and someone picked up the bill for us and we had no idea? Yes! We were just laughing loudly that day. We still do. We this had day, so much fun. We don't know who paid for our bill. If you paid for our bill, comment Let below. Us we know. really want to know. We owe you one. Oh my gosh. We, 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 right, we ordered love. coffee, tea, tea, we had cookies. We had. And anyway, we went to pay after yeah. hours. Yeah. And the lady was like, the waitress was like, oh no, it's been taken care of. Someone take care of it for you. And we were like, we were like looking around. <laughs> Who was who it? Who was it? Who was it? No one was giving us a cheeky smile. No, no one. Nothing. No one. Don't know who it was. And so we thought, well, it just must have been some nice, kind person who was like, look at those <laughs> loud Brits having, that are fun. having fun laughing. I remember what happened. We were having a laugh with the waitress because we were like, we really fancy the cookies. Are they worth it? And we okay. had a long chat with that waitress, like, but are they good though? And um, just chatting, 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 laughing, laughing, laughing. Mm. Cookies came over. We were having a whale of a time. They were gooey, they were warm. Yeah. That's it. Come to pay, it's been taken care of. Amazing. Amazing. Once again, our accents have got us something for free. And if you ask any Brit who's been to America, they'll have similar stories. I remember before we went, yeah. Anchal and... Um, Kesha. Kesha. That's not... I remember our friends Anchal and Kesha went to Vegas and again they were getting into all the top pool parties with like the biggest VIP areas. It's ridiculous. Just because they're British. I know, and they're also very good looking. They are very good looking. But they, it but must still. have been the accents as well. Yeah. 
I Amazing. think, yeah, I don't know why Americans like it so much. I've heard it's because it sounds intelligent. I think Americans assume we're intelligent because of our accent, which is definitely not always true. Yeah. There are lots of dumb Brits. And then we come out with something like, it's Russia and Europe, and then they go, no. And then not. they realise. Numpties. I'm very clever. Oh, yes. But just sometimes a bit stupid. Yeah, I'm clever in my own way. Yeah. I mean, I've got a degree, I'm intelligent, but I lack common yeah. sense sometimes. You've got a degree from a British university. Yeah. a Russell Group University, which is our equivalent of Ivy League, so just saying. Ivy League, you need to start wearing Beyonce yeah. merch, Ivy, Ivy Park. Park, yeah, same thing. Russell Group education. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think another thing they love is just the manners. Like, yeah. we are very polite, I, th mm. I feel. Yeah. Until someone's crossed the line and then we're like, no. Really, really. <laughs> we're oh, yeah. rude. Yeah, yeah. But surface level, day to day, very polite. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are too. Wouldn't say boo to a goose. Wouldn't say boo to a goose, no. <laughs> Certainly would not say boo <laughs> to a goose. Certainly never. Um, no, I think we are very polite and... Yeah, just like the whole like, oh sorry, oh would you mind if... Whereas Americans are more direct and just like, give me this, give me that. Yeah. And I think waiters like that, when we've been ordering, we're like, oh, I think I'll go for, oh, would you mind, oh, can I have this? And then yeah, they'll just, please, they find it endearing. Please, my get a yeah. Whereas I've heard, I've overheard Americans being like, give me a, yeah. I'll get, I'll get a, da da da. Yeah. And you're like, oh, <gasps> yeah, it's, just say please just and say thank please. you. So maybe that's another thing they like about Brits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally, mm. totally. I mean, maybe we're over the top. I read on Twitter that some Americans think that Brits are very over the top with their sort of dress when like dressing up for things like Ascot, mm -hmm. races, Goodwood, stuff like that. Brits wear pretty extra over the top clothing, but a lot of people love it. They're like, I absolutely love how over the top Brits dress up for occasions. Yeah. I got a long comment from someone asking if like wearing hats yeah. as a woman to like events is totally normal and every day in the UK. Every day. Every day, and I was like, yes, no. Every <laughs> yes, every day we every still wear day. hats, just like they would Aww. in Jane Austen yeah. times. No. Well, I think that links on. I think it's just tradition that Americans like as well. Like yeah, the tradition. whole royal family. Obviously, I know that lots of Americans would never want a royal family for themselves, but I know oh, that I, I think lots of, oh, I would. Well, we do. If I was um, an American. Don't worry. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. If I was an American, I'd love to have an American royal family. Oh, same. Yeah. But I know that lots of them don't agree with the royal family, and that's fine. Yeah. But I think lots of them still love the fact that we have a royal family mm. and the Queen, and especially now Meghan's joined our family, our royal family, and she's now one of ours. Yeah, absolutely. She um she links to... the countries together. Yeah, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. We stand Meghan yeah, and Harry. Yeah, we love Meghan. We she's absolutely great. love. Yeah. And baby Archie. Archie. Is that Archie? Baby Archie. Must be baby Let's Archie. Let's say Archie. I mean, baby you can Archie. tell we don't keep fully up to date with the royal family. We did but... a royal family play. We did a royal baby series yeah. and we've forgotten the blooming name. Yeah. I think because the baby was born after the series. It was, so. I think it's I baby Archie. Got I a feeling. feel like Kate's got an Archie. No. No. What's her youngest called? Youngest one, George. No, that's no. the oldest one. Oh yeah, sorry. I, I feel you... like everyone Young, shouting when you at said, the screen. When you said youngest, I was like, the first one she had. How She's a dumb fake is that? Fan. Fake fan. <laughs> Charlotte, George, and Louis. Louis, Louis. I thought it was Archie. It's Louis. Okay. Louis. Cool. Louis. 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 Anyway. That's one thing I think Americans like about us, it's the tradition. tradition. And like the old build, like everything from the, whether it's old buildings mm. in London, Victorian homes, tradition. Someone's on the door. Um, traditions, yeah. royal family, politeness, it's all yeah. sort of formal. It's all around the historic. tradition. Yeah. yeah. Keeping up with traditions mm. and like celebrating them is great. There's never going to be a year that we don't celebrate the Queen's birthday. Yeah. Sorry. No, never. <laughs> never. We never will. Also, I think, I don't know if this should go into the things that they love, because I don't think it's necessarily that Americans love it, but I know that Americans find it funny mm. that we have a whole day in the UK every year dedicated to celebrating the fact that someone tried to blow up Parliament. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what guy thought? Yeah, um, bonfire, yeah bonfire, night. bonfire night. Like, it's Absolutely. all based around the fact, well, it's based around the celebration of them foiling the plot to blow up Parliament, yeah. I think is what Americans forget. Yeah. It's not celebrating that someone tried to blow it up, yeah. it's celebrating that 
the plot was foiled. Yeah. Fantastic. Still, it's funny. It's funny. We have these weird celebrations. Yeah, in the UK. you forget about that. You're just like, oh, bonfire night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that has been why Americans love Brits. Yep, we are going to film another video in a minute all about things Americans don't like about Brits. So uh, make sure you come back and make sure you're tuning in for that. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a like if you did and subscribe if you're new here. We post videos thrice weekly, weekly, sometimes, sometimes more. more. <laughs> so uh, there's plenty of content to go around and do subscribe. We can tell if you're not subscribed. YouTube tells us. Yeah, it tells us who you name, are. <laughs> your, who you are. We exactly. can see the non-subscribed and we yeah. can see the subscribed. So. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.